part. So now on the sponge what I've done is I've loaded a little bit of yellow and a little bit of black on the edge of the sponge. Closing your eyes softly. David, good boy. We're just going to come down the centre of the face now. Just to create an edge to that half of the face. When you do a double loading technique like this, what you find you get is you get just a bit more of a 3D sort of look because it provides a bit of a shadow around the edge of your design. And just blending away until you start to get them quite soft and blended. Now the secret with reapplying another colour on the top is to, if the paint is already dry underneath, try and avoid putting too much paint on top because it will take the paint underneath off. With the same sponge, I've loaded a little bit of black and I've scrunched the sponge up, pulled it up like that, so that I've got a round surface to work on to hollow, up the eye, hollow out the eye. Softly closing your eyes. Good boy. So we're going to just come in around the eye like this. Very still. Keeping your eyes closed, good boy. And you saw then that I just rotated around the sponge. So we start getting a bit of a hollow around the eye like that. Very good boy, David. I'm also going to come in here to create a bit of a shading in there. All right, so now we're just going to create the half nose. The sponge is the best way for getting a lot of these techniques on, as you can see, really, really effective. Good boy, David. Excellent work. You are so good. What I've done now is I've loaded a chisel brush up with a bit of yellow and a bit of white just to create these teeth. And I'm just using the chisel brush to create the shape of the teeth. You'll be an expert in face painting, David, by the time I've finished painting you because you've seen so many of my techniques now. We've painted you, I can't remember how many times we've painted you now. So there's the yellow old teeth that we've created there. What we're going to do now is come around the edge of the teeth. Very good, David. And in between each of those teeth, just bring that line using the round brush to just create the distinction between the teeth. Very good. What I'm going to use now is a script liner dipped in, in black and we're going to crack him up. So often old skulls have cracks and things like that. Oh, you look freaky, so half of you is normal, David. The other half is freaky, David. Okay, very still. Now with the script liner, this is how you do the cracks. So you just come down and you do like a wiggly line comes out like that. So it's looking like he's old bones that are all cracking. You just keep nice and still and you'll be able to have a look later on, good boy. You can use this just to tidy up some of your sponging that you've created there earlier. And as I said, just to make this, give this a little bit more detailing and a bit more realism. David, what is mummy going to say? What a great Halloween design. So coming down here for a few more cracks and he's nearly done. How are you going? It's pretty hard being a model and sitting so still, isn't it? And here we are. Our freaky, scary, half-faced skull.